Hi Atari friends, in this video I would like to demonstrate for you the Mr. FPGA Retro Computer Emulator. This is the Mr. board, it's an FPGA based board that allows you to load cores for different retro machines and this will emulate the retro computers. In this video I will mainly focus on the Atari 800 Excel computer. So if you look at this board, it's made up of two main components. The lower board is the FPGA board and the top board is the breakout board that has the SRAM that is required for the Atari 8-bit emulation as, as so as the other machines that it emulates. It also has some push buttons, control buttons, also Ethernet port. It has HDMI video. The breakout board also has VGA and analog video output, analog audio, power, and so on. The Mr. board is smaller than the Mist. This is the Mist FPGA. A device that I demonstrated in, a, in another video. As you can see it's smaller in size than the mist but it's more powerful. It has the dual core Cortex-A9 running at 800 megahertz and it has the Altera Cyclone V FPGA with one gigabyte DDR3 RAM so it can emulate the retro machine more powerful than the mist. Let's demonstrate how it works. So we will need to connect to the mister an OTG cable that will allow us to connect USB devices. This is kind of a cable that you would use when you would like to connect USB devices to your uh, phone. Right, here it goes. So it's an OTG cable to USB. And here I'm co I can connect my keyboard and joystick and other USB devices. I'm going to connect more than one device here, so I'm going to use a, a USB hub. Just connect a USB hub there. Of course, there is there are also a OTG a hubs that you can get, which will simply break out that into four USB ports. On the other side, I'm going to connect the HDMI connector for my uh, TV, HDMI cable for my TV, and power. Let's switch on the screen first. Also, let's get us a keyboard connected. and a USB joystick. <clears throat> let's get... So let's connect the power to the uh, Mr. Board. 
is as soon as we get the power, you can see that the lights, LEDs are switched on and we got a menu. Let's put this right here. All right. So we get a menu and from the menu we can select the different cores that are already uploaded into the Mr. Um, micro SD card. I forgot to mention that both board has a micro SD slot. The FPGA board has the micro SD slot where you can upload the different cores. And the breakout board also have a micro SD where you can put there the ATR files and other files for um, various emulations. This, to this board I already uploaded an Apple II core, a Galaxian Arcade, Time, <coughs> Time Pilot Arcade, Atari VCS, Atari 5200, Atari 800, Commodore 64, ColecoVision, which is just a core to do a <clears throat> self-test to the Mr. Board, an Amiga Core, Turbo Graphics 16 Arcade, and a ZX Spectrum. As I said, I'm going to focus on the Atari Core. So as soon as I select the Atari Core, the Mr will boot into Atari 800 XL computer and I can use my USB keyboard to uh, basically just operate as I would run a normal a regular Atari computer. The core is actually a port from the MIST uh, core. So if I'm going to push F12, I will go to the same menu that I demonstrated when I show the MIST or the Eclair XL FPGA board. I can speed up the CPU. I can select to speed up the disk loading. Let's uh, select it as a drive, as a turbo speed so ATR files will run faster. I can select the memory expansion scheme. Let's say let's, let's do one megabyte. I have a, I can select the Atari OS ROM. I'm just going to use a standard ROM. I can change the aspect ratio between 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. So it will allow me to view the Atari computer in the scale ratio that resembles to the old screen. I can change between PAL and NTSC. And I can load an ATR file or an executable file. Let's, for example, select to load the Baldur Dash game. And I can just exit, boot the computer. And it's loading fast into Baller Dash. Using the joystick, I can start and play the game. Now, if I'm going to push F12, I can define the joystick buttons. So basically I can put here any USB type of joystick and program the mist to follow the joystick uh, direction. So this is going to be right, left, down, down, up, fire, and just going to push space to skip. And that's it. Now I can just uh, play the game to start.
and just um, control the computer uh, with the um, USB joystick. If I'm going to push win the Windows key and the F12, I can sh show you that I can uh, again go and change the joystick definition or load a different core or different machine. We'll, we'll do a quick demonstration of that um, uh, at the end. So again, pushing F12, let's load another software. Let's go to demos. Let's see this one. Escape. It's now loading in a high speed SIO routine, loading a very uh, large Atari executable file. The emulation is pretty much mature. Almost every software and game that I've tested, I was able to run using this uh, core. It's a pretty much uh, an old demo showing some basic stuff. I can go back to the menu, change things and then go back to the uh, software or game again. Let's try another title just for the fun. Let's see what else we got. I wonder what's that Atari logo. Let's see what we see. All right, that's the Atari logo on the screen. That's nice. So that's the Meister, Mister FPGA board. Very uh, nice. As a difference between the uh, mist that it has a smaller form factor and you can load all the cores into one card that is installed on the baseboard while the mist just need to change the software uh, cores every time you want to boot and it has a different a a micro SD to store your ATR files uh, that goes into the uh, breakout board and so I can take out the uh, micro SD, go to my PC, load more files, more ATRs there and uh, use that. The Atari computer doesn't use the Ethernet port but uh, I'm assuming that if I'm going to uh, do something with the uh, uh, 486 PC emulation or maybe the Amiga, uh, I can uh, use this Ethernet port for their for their use. Um, again, going back to the menu, we can go switch cores, change FPGA. Let's go and load an Atari uh, 5200 emulation and push F12 to load a cartridge couple of cartridge here, let's try the Gremlins one and I just uh, emulated, emulated a cartridge uh, the Gremlins game, let's try uh, a different core if I want a Commodore 64 Selecting the Commodore 64 core and now I'm booting into a Commodore 64 computer where I can uh, mount 
a D64 Commodore disc or Commodore games out of the many that I uploaded here and we can just uh, load the Commodore software or I can go and change the Meister to work as a ColecoVision and I can uh, select a Coleco game and I'm just inserted a, a Coleco a cartridge where I can just play a, a Coleco game. One player. I guess I have to program the controller here. Define joystick buttons. Right, left, down, up, fire. Just have to hold the joystick in the right direction to play. Never played that game before. Let's try. See what else we got. So I got an Atari ColecoVision. I can uh, switch in, switch the FPGA to load as an Amiga machine. I probably would need to add here a mouse so I can uh, operate this computer and load a game or a software and uh, test that as well. We also have here, try to And how do I exit F12? Windows and F12. Change core. Get a ZX Spectrum. So I can just switch into a, a ZX Spectrum machine and the same thing as here, load the Spectrum file, disk and test it as well. Or there are more, we can also um, emulate an arcade machine. Let's write to the Time Pilot. So the Mr. Now is emulating a Time Pilot arcade where I can uh, play uh, this game. The Meister is an open um, source project where you can um, download the core for free. You can buy the FPGA board, but the uh, breakout board you have to build it yourself. There is no store that currently sells it, so you can just download the board, uh, produce the PCB, solder the uh, top breakout component, and then you could uh, uh, play and test those different arc, um, retro computers that I showed uh, earlier. Well, <clears throat> let's go back to the Atari. Well, that's all for now. I hope that you enjoyed this video and until next time keep enjoying play with your Atari